We're doing something special today. Uh, you know, if you've been in our ecosystem for a day or a decade or more, um, you know that we do this incredible annual summit. And something that inspired me about seven years ago was my first exposure to a TED Talk. Uh, if you know anything about TED, uh, you know, it's where a bunch of really smart Silicon Valley movie celeb educators got together and basically asked extraordinary men and women to get up on stage and share their story. And, you know, if you're like me and you're a lifetime learner, you probably have the TED app, uh, you know, on your iPhone or whatever device you use. And it's maybe something that's always on your YouTube playlist. Um, for me, it was just a tremendous way to, to watch this, this body of, of men and women like us be exposed to people with a wide variety of ideas, opening up our thoughts, opening up our thinking, and of course, at the end of the day, allowing us to do more of the things we wanna do. That inspiration seven years ago led to throwing something new, adding something new into our success summit, and of course, inspired by Ted, my team called it Tom X. And, <laughs> and every year, we basically go to our base of clients and we say, these are some of the challenges that we see agents facing in the marketplace today based upon our research and study and data. And then we basically scour, you know, thousands of, of rock star individuals and we say, can you come and deliver a powerful, actionable message that can help our clients add $100,000 in commissions, $500,000 in commissions, millions of dollars in commissions with your inspiration, your ideas, your techniques, and your very specific strategies. So. In years past, many people have said to me, Tom, it's don't take this personally, Tom Ferry. It's the best thing about the summit. And of course, that makes me smile, right? Because, you know, I was able to orchestrate that experience for people. What I want to do now is over the next few weeks that we've never done, I was thinking about Jim, we've never done this before. We're actually going to expose you to the Tom X speakers in advance. So I've got our first guest on the line with us, Bond, James. <laughs> I was say James Bond, but Jay Bond, a rock star real estate professional of five years who is on pace this year to do 40 transactions. And my friends, when you look at the national average and you look at doing 40 transactions a year, especially in the marketplaces that he serves, um, I just know in my heart of hearts, this guy is remarkable. His conversation is around the secrets to killer lead conversion. So let's say hi to our first Tom X speaker, Mr. Jay Bond. Jay, how we doing, buddy? Doing good, Tom. Doing good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course, man. So, uh, so tell our friends out there on Facebook today uh, just a little bit about yourself. You know, who are you? What did you do before real estate? And we know you got in five years ago. So give us just a little <laughs> sense of Jay Bond, and maybe you might want to share a little bit about this 007 thing. <laughs> All right, I want to give everything away, but no, I, I appreciate that. So uh, I operate San Luis Obispo, California, uh, which you know, some of you know, and lifelong resident here. You know, my family's been here since the 1920s. I know the market really well. Uh, in between San Francisco, LA, we're in a little pocket here. You know, beautiful yep. area, uh, unique market, very slow paced. I think that's why they call it slow. You know, good acronym. Yeah. Yeah. And, we, you know, we've been moving quickly here. Uh, so, you know, my background is in marketing and advertising. You know, my, my master's degree is in marketing. So I went to school for. Um, and here I could only really find jobs in advertising you know, working for media sales, you know, cable companies, uh, TV stations, you know, things like that. So I came from a very similar business background, you know, translating from that into real estate, the prospecting, the lead nurturing, all that was very similar, um, but far less rewarding. You know, I'll just say that. <laughs> yes. Very true. Very true. But uh, yeah, no, so that here, here we are, fast forward five years and uh, things have been just phenomenal in this market and doing things in this county that I didn't think were possible without having to go to a larger city, you know, things like that. So, so, so without, without revealing all the secrets of your talk, which we'll, <laughs> we'll we're going to get into a few. So for all of us watching out there, we're not going to leave you hanging. He's got some really good stuff to share to kind of get you ready to go for the Tom X experience. So Jay, maybe take us through the evolution of your business. You know, you're in year five, you're yes, on pace yes. for 40 transactions. Yes, um, yes. Yeah. Putting you on the spot here. What'd you do in year one, two, three. And of course we know where you're at today. So it's, it's been a really big evolution, you know, in that small amount of time. I, I love to say I've been in the business five years, but in my mind, mentally, my business didn't start until I joined this ecosystem here, you know, the Tom Ferry coaching program and that ecosystem. I yep. spent three years kind of mulling around having the drive and the motivation, but not having 
the systems and direction that I really needed. And what do you do? You spend thousands of dollars buying leads and doing all these things and thinking, underestimating the barriers and the amount of work it's going to take to be successful in your marketplace. And I did it more than once, three years. I consistently would fall out of the business, work jobs that I didn't care for, working for people I didn't care for, saving money to get back in the business to just continue that same vicious cycle. And so my first year in the business, very minimal Um, learning. I think you take all these real estate classes, you jump in the business thinking that, oh, you're doing contracts, you're meeting with people, yada, yada. You realize I'm in the business of lead conversion. That's what this business is. And you don't start getting that aha moment until you're really lost in this world of noise and barriers. And so you really start grasping at straws of what you need to do. You know, my first year, I think I did three deals from the skin of my teeth, um, clinging on to Craigslist ads and (laughs) things that, you know, were fruitful at that time, which are different now. I remember my first deal took me three months, four months to get after I wasted $20,000 buying leads that I had my whole savings and everything burnt. And I was grasping on to a $90,000 manufactured home deal. And just like it was my lifeline. And when that closed, the $1,000 and $900 I made on that deal, I said, okay, move on. You know, so in and out, I did three deals that year. The next year, I, my motivations had changed. I was lucky to do one deal. I fell out my third year, the same thing, maybe one deal. And I, I started to get very discouraged. And I said, you know what? I need to make some changes. You know, what do I need to do? I took the whole first quarter off two years ago, really thinking about how I wanted to reintroduce myself into the marketplace. I I thought about my branding. I thought about my position here in the market. What's going to help me establish a large degree of separation between myself and my competition? You know, I have a good name for it. I think I had the right name for my brand, which is, you know, a lot of people are fortunate to have your name, market your business. Um, And I said, there's two ways I can do this. I can be J Bond 007 cheesy car salesman, or I can do a J Bond 007 with a more elegant twist, something that's going to be more appealing and respectable, you know, to the masses there. And at that same time, I opted to join coaching and um, it, it really set the foundation being able to peek into the ecosystem from an outside perspective and kind of have an aha moment of, okay, now I start seeing what I should be doing and what I need to be doing. And so as a solo agent, I took the full first quarter off. I think I started like literally May 1st of 2015 and jumped in, you know, feet first. And that year I was able to close 11 deals as a solo agent by myself. First six figure salary I've ever earned for myself. And that was the real testament of, wow, I I can do this. I, I think I can do this. I'm learning, I'm growing. Year two, last year we did, 23 deals halfway through the year. I brought on a business partner as an ops manager. Um, He also worked with our buyers, a full-time admin. And then fast forward this year, we're on pace to double that number. I have a team of four, full-time buyer's agent, admin, marketing person, partner slash ops manager. And we're ready to just, the sky's the limit. And what's amazing is the amount of traction we've gained in two years, I'm blown away by, first of all, but part two is that I, I realize that we are merely just scratching the surface of the full potential of this thing and the direction that we're going to go. So I hope that. <laughs> yeah, that's, listen, and first of all, I, I hope, I hope for all the people that are watching right now, um, I wish you could have seen my face. I don't know if it's a dual screen situation, but, <laughs> but, but Jay, like, like my heart goes out to you. I think that, well, I know that there will be tens of thousands of people that will watch this and they will hear your story. And, and it should bring hope to some people that are out there, whether they're 20 years in the business or two years in the business, that so many people come into this industry with this false hope, this false understanding that they could buy leads, work their friends, and somehow magically, they're just going to start doing deals and making money. And, and you know, you were extremely revealing and very honest in that, Hey, first year, one deal spent 20 grand and got a, you know, a thousand dollar paycheck. And then the honesty around, you know, Hey, having to leave the industry and go get another job and and then make enough money to come back to it. I just want to say that I don't know if there's a lot of hearts going on right now or thumbs up, but there certainly should be just for your, your total honesty and transparency. 
Thank you. And at, the, and at the same time, Jay, it also tells people what's possible when you jump all in mm -hmm. and you jump in with a different set of distinctions and tools. So you're going to talk about killer, the secret to killer lead conversion. So yes, could you maybe share, um, first of all, in your mind, share why is this so important? Like, why is it that so many agents struggle with lead follow-up? And you and I both know it's where all the money is. Yes, yes. To answer that question without giving away all my material and everything that I'm going to say on stage, uh, it's really the meat and potatoes of everything. You know, I, I think it's uh, we're having a breakthrough mentally and, and being disciplined. And I, I think it's operating in the gray area. And, and you start to realize at a certain point what makes you uncomfortable, you really need to do 110% more of that. And, and I can't stress that enough. And that, that is working with the phones. That is working with the follow-up. And it's, it's that consistency. You know, you really have to be consistent with it and kind of break through that fear. And it's something that doesn't happen in one day. And that's what you have to realize. It's not going to happen in one day. It may not happen the first five, 10 times I try, but you have to keep doing it. And when people realize you're not going away, you quickly see these barriers start to chip away and start to diminish. And you start gaining traction, you know, and, and it all happens with follow up, being there consistently every month, checking in, whether until they tell you to stop, continue calling, because that's what's going to set you apart from everyone else. And they may not appreciate it then, but I can tell you what, when they do want to sell their house, who are they going to think of? Are they going to think of the person that called me once or that sent me a letter or a bunch of postcards? They're going to think of the person that went out of their comfort zone to call them every month to check in and see if their, their needs are being served with their real estate goals. So Jay, because of your background in, in sales and marketing, um, a lot of people might be saying, well, of course, you know, he was in sales and marketing before. So this, this follow-up and this conversion must have been easy for you. Was it, was it always easy for you or, you know, did you go through some hardship to finally learn these lessons? You know, I went through some hardship. I love to sit here and say that I was a very successful salesperson in media, but I think the, the early pitfalls that I had in real estate were ultimately reflected in my advertising sales as well. Uh, you know, my marketing background was a high appeal to employers there. I went in, I was comfortable. I don't mind. I've never really minded picking up the phone and calling people, but you have that disconnect. You know, you, you scratch the surface, you get shut down and human nature is like, oh, wow, I don't want to do that again. I don't ever want to touch base or experience that, you know, failure or just uh, being shut down. No one wants that. You know, it's an uncomfortable feeling, but you have to just, you have to break through, you know, and, and I think it is a misconception. People said you came from one to the other. Well, I, I if I had applied what I learned getting into real estate to media sales, I probably would have been as successful there as well. So there's certain core values that you can take and apply to this industry, you know, so. Love it. Love it. So, so give us a, give us your best lead follow-up war story. Lead follow-up war story. Okay. So uh, I had one early onset, you know, this is before I came to the coach and everything else. And it was one of my last, you know, real just failures. It was one where, and, and mind you, I wasn't scripting. I wasn't doing anything. I was just shooting from the hip on the phones most of the time, you know, blind in the dark. And I got to sit down and it was in an area that I had always kind of thought about farming. Um, first sit down meeting, I thought we had a, a good meeting, this and that. And I said, well, you know, we're maybe six to 12 months out. And I said, oh, that's great. You know, I appreciate the time. And I said, you know, I don't want to be too in your face, this and that. I'm going to set a reminder. I'm going to call them in four months to check in. Well, you know what happened when I called them that four months? They'd already been on the market for a month and we're under contract and we're going to close. And you get devastated because you thought it was a little success, but then you realize, and there's that disconnect what is going on here? Where, where was this pitfall of just the lack of follow-up? I bet if I had called him more consistently, I would have been the one to have gotten that listing and been successful with it. And it's funny because I have a client here who's in my farm who is, uh, they become good friends of mine and they have, actually, I almost don't want to touch base. I'm going to save their presentation, but it was very funny. I called them multiple times and they literally hung up on me so many times. It was unbelievable. Yet, and they didn't tell me no. And I wanted to consistently continue calling. And I won that sit down. And we were able to get that home under contract, full price cash offer in just over a week where others had failed after months and months on the market. And that was a good testament to just the follow up, the consistency and how successful 
you can be if you don't get bogged down by the noise and the barriers and you're not afraid to continue persevering and breaking through those barriers. So, Jay, I love it. I mean, I think a lot of people that are watching this right now, you know, I, I'm just going to tell you, my, my level of appreciation for you gets higher and higher every time we get a chance to connect. <laughs> Thank you. Because, um, you know, because I mean, Jay, you know, your your advertising and your marketing is is very sophisticated. It's very intelligent. You come across uh, with this just, you know, a, a very stylish approach to selling homes. And yet as we sit here right now, you're just raw and real, man. You're just like, <laughs> if you were telling that story, I, I was thinking of, you know, tens of times that that I lost significant pieces of business because I took on that mindset of, well, you know, I don't want to be too pushy, you know, right? Versus like, wait a minute, these guys just told me they're going to move in six months and things change. I'm going to call them every two weeks and just mm -hmm. say, is there something I can do to bring you value? Is there something I can do to help? Mm -hmm. Have you guys had any other thoughts? I've got a buyer that wants to see your home. Like, how do we get over that sort of BS conversation that people have with themselves about following up that, you know, we, we hear the number from the client or, or better yet, we hear the no and we, we actually believe that it's true. And then six months later, they're on the market or two weeks later, they're on the market. What was some, who did you model? What were some tips? What were some tricks without revealing? I know you're going to share, you know, <laughs> you know, a million dollars worth of education at Tom X, but you know, give them like one tip or trick that, that you could encourage them with to get over the fear. So starting today, they call all their leads today. It, you know what? I, I've been kind of watching uh, Monica Carr's Tom X for things from last year, the one she did, which she did a phenomenal job with. And the one line that she used, which I've kind of been using, and that's been my mindset with things is, you know, don't ask for permission, ask for forgiveness. You know, and I, I've said, I know it's, it resonates with me, and I set yeah. kind of this rule where if they tell me no, or they tell me to stop, then I do. Because they're actually doing you a favor by saying, you know what, I don't want your services. I'm not going to waste your time. They've done you a favor. And I used to get hung up on it. And it used to eat at me. And I'd say, that bothers me so much. But now I see it as a privilege. Wow, they've done me a favor. Now I know I can take them off my list. And I can apply my time and energy towards someone that really needs our services. You know, And so I, I just set that mindset. What's going to make through that awkwardness? I can always call and say, you know what, the last conversation we had was a little awkward. But you know what, they didn't tell me to stop calling. <laughs> so I just keep that in my mind, you know, keep that unless you hear a no, don't stop, go away, keep going, you know, and, and you have to break through. And I know you and I've talked about mindset before, and there's a lot of agents out there who maybe don't quite understand that, but it's, it's, it's that feeling and that the unstoppable nature that you have to have in your business, you know, respect people's wishes. If they say no, don't, but if they don't think of it as just a prolonged, yes, you know, you didn't tell me no. So I'm thinking, that's a yes. And in six months, it may be, you know, so that's kind of my advice to everyone is don't feel defeated because you're not until you defeat yourself, you know, and that's bottom line right there. Well, I got to tell you, Jay, you just shared, I mean, I, I, I feel like you just gave every real estate agent on the planet a very important lead follow-up therapy session. So <laughs> as we, uh, as we wrap up our short time together, I really just, you know, my intention for all my friends out there watching is, you know, this Tom X phenomenon uh, you just mentioned Monica Carr. We just posted a video just a few weeks ago and already on our YouTube channel without any marketing has, you know, 13, 14,000 views. Um, you know, people want to hear from great agents. So, you know, I'm inspired that you are one of them, that you're a part of our ecosystem, that you're going to be sharing, you know, your secrets to absolute killer 007 conversion. <laughs> If you don't show up in a bow tie and a tuxedo, Jay, for the record, I'm going to be angry. I'm just letting you know. Um, so as we wrap this up, I want to thank you for your time. And for all of our friends out there, if you've not made a reservation for the Success Summit, uh, we've got about 1,000 seats left, which may sound like a lot, but just like last year, we, we're going to sell out. And yes. if you're inspired by this, if you want to be like Jay and like Monica and like so many of these extraordinary men and women that are in our ecosystem, it's pretty easy. All you got to do is go to our website and make a reservation. And in this case, because you watch this with us live, if you put in the promo code SPEAKER100, you get $100 off your ticket price. So I'd certainly encourage you to do that. And Jay, you got any, got any thoughts on encouraging people to go to the summit? You know, guys, go because you're never going to experience anything else like it. Uh, the energy, everything, just go. If you think you can't make it, go 
take someone you care about, buy them a ticket and go. Because I think after the first summit, I'll make this real quick. My biggest mistake was not inviting people that I cared about, because whether you're in this industry or not, there's good takeaways from it. And it's going to change your mindset. It's going to change your life. And if you allow it to, it's going to change your business. You know, that's, that's my recommendation. That's pretty strong. And talking from a guy that's had some, some pretty significant defeats early on in his career and now <laughs> is, you know, looking at the top of the world. So Jay, we're going to sign off now, but I want to thank you again for being you. Thank you in advance for your extraordinary contribution to the ecosystem and Tom X and to all my friends out there. If I were to share one piece of advice straight out of Jay's mouth, it would be keep calling all those leads until they say no, because we all know in this game, whoever does the most follow-up wins. And one of the biggest reasons why agents struggle to make the money that they desire, it's not generating the leads anymore, my friends. All the money is in conversion. So, yep. you know, go for the no. Go for the no. Call until you get the no. And maybe just call them one more time after that. All right. <laughs> Share this with a couple of your friends that want to see it. You know, certainly I like Jay's idea about inviting your buddies. We're seeing a lot of that now. You know, agents that are showing up with their friends, their manager, their marketing coordinator, their escrow officer, their mortgage rep. Uh, I think all that's a great idea as well because you're creating your own ecosystem of success. So mm -hmm. thank you guys so much for watching. And Jay, we love you. We can't wait to see you at the summit. We'll look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Tom. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We have a number of events coming up and we'd love to have you there. Visit tomferry.com forward slash events and reserve your spot today.